Hello there, this is True, and this is going to be episode number 29 of my vampire playthrough. So right now we're just heading off to the Ashalon Club. Which, ooh, a merchant. I don't know, high up, okay. So forward, take a left, and second star to the left, straight on till morning. The west to end. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Oh my god, what did you do? It's on him! It's on him! Come on, she's dead! Ow. There were no checkpoints. Hold on. It's locked. <laughs> Wait, didn't I come? Oh, okay. So I gotta. Eh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. So we roll down here. Fight the mini boss. I'm guessing. Oh, is that fucking. <laughs> I think it was so annoying, wouldn't shut the hell up. No loot out there. Okay. Wait, isn't there a... Up, up, get away! <clears throat> oh, a nice area. Did I just get a free shilling? Silver fork. I'll fork this place. I'll fork this all up. Yes, I make bad puns. I love bad puns. Hey! Get out of my garbage can, you bastard! You! You! <laughs> Yes, this. It's my garbage can. The next thing is going to be eating my rats. Someone's house. Okay. It's locked. Yeah, no shit, it's locked. The smart people lock their front doors. Keep out the fucking vampires. Okay, this is now unlocked. Let's see, let's see here. Oh. Oh, this is despicable. Crazy hey. homeless lady. I have this thirst for blood. Rats. I can't believe I'm doing this. One more. One more. Come on. Two more. I have this thirst blood next? for oh, blood. I think you fit one more. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. Now I think of it. Max blood. Cigarette case and a couple of bottles of alcohol. Well, someone decided to make their life better. Throw that out. Okay. Next stop. Take a left. Straight on. Where are you? Oh. The Ascalon Club. The heart of British vampire society. 
Ooh, not quite as subtle as I expected. People. It could be someone you know. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting a... What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. When did you return? When did you escape the war and return to London? Escape you know what's war. funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Vampires. Really? Really? Vampires? How's your, How wife? your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other. And so many things have happened. She got a new husband now. <laughs> Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. Well... Well... Yeah. You need some rest. I am going to end up beating him. Because he's what you call a threat. Knock, knock, knock. Hello? Avon calling. But first, I need to find out all of his dirty little secrets. The door is going to slide away. Ha. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. Over the Ascalon trap? Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. What a fucking dump. Welcome to the Ascalon Club. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. <laughs> I just hope that's not what it always looks like. Like, oh no, no this, is a, this is normal. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, so I'm just going room to room, looting. Yeah. Yeah, just paw for the course. <clears throat> Good evening. They're all clean shaven. I'm the only bearded man in here. They jealous of the beard. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, here, here. here. Come forward, young Ekon. 
before we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding you. things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Eh. She has proven useful. She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. <laughs> Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this skull plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why now? Why have you asked me here? Because the crisis is escalating. <clears throat> Our enemies, the guard of Prewen, have even launched an open hunt. The only way to calm things down is to put an end to the epidemic. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Uh... No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club, and to serve me as such. Here's your razor. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What does membership mean? What does it mean? mean does it have its privileges? The Ascalon Club. It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown. That you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire, but the true nature of its members remains a secret. Hmm. Am I supposed to obey? Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members, and I do appreciate obedience. What's the club's purpose? What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall <laughs> granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. Yeah, probably with me. Um, I don't have an option to say no, so 
I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My pants initiation. Pick up this cherry with your Fear butt. not. Nothing fancy <laughs> nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. <clears throat> My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Dude, there's like four clones right there. Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Totally lies. Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the <laughs> backbone of our nation. It's like, we know it's archaic, but, you know, just do it anyways. Stab again, stab again. I got a really long name. Mm, delightful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! Oh, God. I guess the, I guess Good I evening, talk Dr. To the Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. Yeah. I'm perfectly fine. I feel perfectly fine. Do I have cause for concern? Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. <laughs> that you're old. I am Aloysius spot. Dawson, by the way. I know that name. I know that name. Someone mentioned Dawson. I forget what for. Oh, you're famous, Mr. Dawson. Of Dawson and Dawson, the wealthiest man in England. That's where I knew it from. It is a pleasure the warehouse to meet such that a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. Hmm. What is the situation like in this part of town? I am sure Lord Redgrave will enlighten you more effectively than I. What do you know about the guard of Prewin? I should not say this, but I admire their commitment. This is what the nation needs right now. Commitment? Would you help them? No. There is a time <clears throat> for such methods. But brute force will not be enough to fight this plague. We have to think differently. Ah. Money can't solve them. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. Obviously, You're right. you've never been rich. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. 
I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. <laughs> Build the a wall. formidable, Build unscalable the wall. wall. To isolate the deserving from the infected masses. Okay, Trump. By doing so, you would create two separate ghettos. What if the disease gets past the wall? The results would be disastrous. Not if we eliminate all suspected cases of infection as soon as they appear. A necessary sacrifice. Are you not mistaking <laughs> sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. Skulls have been spotted everywhere in London. We are losing this fight. Can't talk to clone one, two, three, or four. They all look the same. Okay. That went well, did it not? It is always useful <clears throat> to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was. Though very long ago, well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Akon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Did I have findings? Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally. But I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish, and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? You were spying on me? You were Fuck spying yeah, we were. Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Banshaw was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. Yeah. He served me well. He for was decades. a brute. No, I mean, what was he? <clears throat> he was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Vulcod, all muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. Hmm. You know I killed him? You do know I killed him. Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory no. was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Well, I'm in story mode, so it's a little easier. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Um... I have met peaceful and wise Skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skulls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club, and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Okay. Do 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 do. Upgrade. Ask locals about possible source of infection in the West End. Wait, 
Oh, yeah, I need more braille. Um, fuck these guys, I don't care. That's my level four. Loot post haste. Who oh, looked? A good. No way. Well, it gives me some good blood absorption. Oh, enhanced handling. <laughs> That's it, enhanced healing. I'm like, wow, I can get healing? Yeah. Eh. Really? Really? Five shillings? Is that all you cheapskates can leave lying around? I didn't want to exit. Oh well. <clears throat> well, that's okay. So, I think this is a good time to go ahead and uh, bring this episode to a close. Assuming something doesn't attack me. Okay. So, we will go ahead and uh, pick this up next time. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Drew.